All right, YouTube, what's up, guys? Back with the rest of the video for the FL 350 disassembly of the engine. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the engine mount off and uh, pretty much go from there. I'll tell you guys what I'm doing and what size sockets and tools I'm using to do all these processes. So, if you guys can do me a favor, throw me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, drop a comment over here and there. Let me know. You know what you guys are thinking or any suggestions or anything like that but all right guys let's get this video going so these are 14 millimeter Somebody cut this engine off the other frame that I have, so it kind of sucks. I've been saving all the pieces. Maybe I can weld the engine tabs back on and complete the bottom of the frame. So. I what else was cut off? Spare engine mounts. Throw oh, this in the box of parts. I got building up over here. Alright. Next, we'll take off this uh, ground clamp here. And I believe that is a 12 millimeter. at the 12 millimeter before I start cranking on it. 12. I think I might put a socket on that. Eh, should be right there. Up here. Get the pieces out of here. Next step. Let's see what I want to do next. I guess I'll use my new tool I'm excited to use. Flywheel puller tool. I'm going to pull the flywheel. Alright. If you guys want to know where I got any of these tools or anything from, uh, just drop me a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer. Alright, so we're going to take this nut off, and that is a 17mm nut, like that. I already uh, pre-broke some of this stuff loose, guys, so some of this stuff might come off a little easy. <laughs> Some that up just to make it a little easier to show you guys. So take that off, and then I didn't loosen this though. I did not loosen the flywheel. All I did was loosen that nut because I knew it was probably going to be a pain in the butt. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put this on here, like so. Make sure it's tight in there. And then we should be able to just hit this with the impact while holding that with the wrench. Probably didn't grab the right size over here. So 
That'll do it. All right, so we got a one-inch wrench, and then I think that's the same. Yeah, it's the same exact size. Wow, that was like no effort at all with the tool. I just wouldn't even believe how many problems I've had trying to get these off with other other methods and stuff like that. That actually just popped right off of there. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's actually really clean. This engine was a pretty clean-looking engine. So. I don't expect too many things to be bad on it. Okay, so I'm done with my tool, so I'm going to put it back in the box. So I guess the bag is in my hand. So put it back in there. Put it back inside. Alright, next step is to take the stator off of there. So Eight millimeter. He's got the trigger. He's making more noise than what I'm actually doing. Here. Okay. Even when I want to take a wire clamp off as well. All right. That's free. All the wires are free. Use that. We'll get all that cleaned up before uh, reassembly and get all the oil and anything like that off of it. Use uh, degreasers and stuff like that are safe on electronics. Electronic dial safe degreasers. So we'll set this aside in a different box. Soft box. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'll take this and put it back down here. Like this. Okay. I'll take these and stick them back in their holes for now too. That way we can keep track of our tools a little easier here. And our, uh, our tools. The keyway's in there good, so we're not going to lose that. Now yeah, we're going to flip the engine over. Here's the inside. Nice and clean. But we're going to clean it up further and make sure that we don't get any more oil in here. You guys see this hole that's right here. This has got to be tapped with the tap and die set. I'll also be doing that in these series of videos on this engine rebuild and overhaul. So this is the hole that everybody talks about on the forums and stuff. Let me see here. thing does not want to focus worth the shit. There we go. Alright, so you guys see that hole and that goes all the way over. To this jacket. Over here. You guys can see. Ah, damn. There we go. And that goes all the way over to this jacket over here. See me blocking the air off? I mean, the, the air off, the light off. And that's this jacket right here. So when you, you get overages of oil or you're on an angle or something like that, the oil pours right out of that and it messes up all your electronic conductivity inside your, uh, your um, flywheel case. It messes with everything. So that's what the dealio is that what that is. That's the mod everybody's talking about that you got to go about and do. But I will get to that. That is part of this process here. It's the whole process. Stripping the engine down and rebuilding. Alright, so next. We're going to start separating. Well, take this out and dipstick. Put it aside. Alright. I guess I'll just replace everything on this. Alright. Next, we're going to take all these bolts out. They're also uh, 8 millimeters. I keep checking my video time, guys. Make sure.
always got to be difficulties. What do you guys think about uh, painting the uh, crankcase and all that, the whole bottom part of the engine, or powder coating per se? What do you guys think about that? Tell me, tell me your guys' thoughts, please. I've really been thinking about doing it. It's been a really big thought. I think it would look good. Just don't know if it would affect any of the performance or anything like that. Alright. So, what we're going to do now... I think I'll... Uh, I guess I can pretty much size them up to where they're all sitting even to figure out where they go. It's the only bad thing. I hate taking bolts out. I'm trying to figure out. So those three are the same line. That one's the same line. That one's longer. So I'm put that one in there. It's going to stick up way up there. Okay. Let's figure this out. They're all similar in size. I think there's only one, one bolt that's longer. Yeah, there's one long one, so I know where that goes. Anyway, you guys remind me, that long bolt goes right here. Alright. Alright. So, we got, I think, all of our bolts out. We're going to do it once over and make sure. Except for the side over here. As far as I'm concerned, I think we have everything necessary to split the case halves. Alright, so... I hope I missed one. Yeah, I didn't do a good once over. Shame on me. Just, just, just. That might help with everything. Alright, I'm gonna give it one more. I'm gonna give it a twice over, alright? Alright, I figured out how I'm going to crack my crankcase, so I did it. I'm going to show you guys what I did. So, what I did was, it's not the best way to do it, but I mean, if you don't have any way to, you know, split your crankcase, here's what I did. I took the engine, just like this, and I hung it on my workbench. Just like that, all right. And then I have to slide it over here like this, where you guys can see. I think you can see a little better now. Then, yeah, let's see. There we go. Now you can see it. See right here. All right. Then what I did was I took my uh, use wood. I use my fiberglass handle on my hammer here. And I stuck it in between the piece of wood and the other part of it. And I pried like this until I heard a pop. I had my knee under it, of course, you know, so when it popped, I didn't lose anything. So now the case is separated. Super easy. Fast. Close a new effort in that. I'm going to take that off. I gotta... There it is. Man, would you like that? Let's get you guys back on track here. Alright. There's the outer. Here's the inside. Look how nasty that's gotten. See all the dirt and stuff that I told you guys was in there? Now these bearings should be alright. I'm gonna probably replace them anyways. Don't know yet. I'm gonna clean them and see exactly what comes out of cleaning them. See how if they're worn or anything, if they feel rough. If they feel alright, I'm probably just going to run the bearings in this one. Just 
stinky. Yep, clean all that up. Alright. So we'll set this aside in a safe spot. shaft. Probably not going to replace the bearings on that. That's really good. That's very bad. Alright. She is. And look at that mess. Ah, it actually stinks. I'm not gonna lie. Get all this cleaned up. Get this gasket scraped off, and all that fun, fun stuff. And yeah, I'll probably end up replacing these bearings and seals on this engine for sure. I don't really like the way they look. Seals look alright, but if they're stretched or anything like that, I don't even want to risk it. So I'm just going to pop everything out of there, clean everything up really good. And we'll be back for an assembly video. I might have to get a piece for this, so I might just do a couple of videos on this and then it might set and I might go to something else for a little while. Just to let you guys know. So. But yeah. Is that case half from the inside? That's the inside of the engine now. So that's that's pretty uh, filthy, guys. It's got a lot of dirt in there and stuff. I'll, I'll be air compressing it and using degreasers and stuff. But that bearing right there looks. Yeah. Yep, these will be getting replaced. I don't like the way that looks. I'm not happy with it. I don't trust it. That leaves us with the uh, connecting rod. Just get everything really cleaned up and sandblast what needs to be sandblasted and all that good fun stuff and put it back together. Everything else down here looks to be in okay shape. This thing's in really good thorough cleaning, guys. Alright, let me get everything cleaned up, and like I said, we'll be back with another video on the installation. But, yeah, you guys can see that's pretty, uh, pretty filthy there. It's not something that we would put back in an engine, that's for sure. Like I said, that engine sat without the carburetor on it, so... Yep, that was kind of expected out of it. So we'll clean everything up, get the case halves cleaned, and, uh... I got, uh, I'll, add, I'll try to add a photo in. I got all the gaskets and everything to completely overhaul this engine. But I'll probably end up using the old uh, head gasket. One of the tricks is that you can do, you can see that there's three layers here. So what you can do is you can grind these, these tabs off right here. This tab, this tab, and this tab right here. There's three tabs on there. Bam, bam, bam. And what we'll do is we'll grind them down off of there, and then these rings will actually separate. And then what we'll be able to do is put just one ring in, and you'll gain a lot. Of, you'll have a lot less clearance inside the engine, which means a higher combustion rate. So. That's, and then plus you get three gaskets out of one. That's the other privilege too. So we'll be doing that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, a little bit of porting work, but uh, if I do that, I'll get that on video and make sure to throw that in somewhere. All right, guys. Show this channel some love. Peace.